think we're probably in trouble just being in this room, aren't we? Uh, increasingly <laughs> so, yes. You, know, you associate with me, you're in real danger now. I've got two, two quick things. Um, I've got an, in, um, my email was suggested to me by my Mac people as being a reasonably safe one, and I've used it for some years and got a lot of stuff there. But the other day they said that I had to sign up to conditions, and so I did my usual thing of going down to 7.3 to see what happened. And I was interested to see that I'm giving up my right to trial by jury should I be in dispute with this particular company, which I suspect is not actually legal. Yes. <laughs> and can I just add quickly, I use Firefox in private tracking. I don't believe for a minute any of it works, do you? That they don't track you, that they don't in some way record what you're doing. Oh, um, I, I think Firefox is actually written by a bunch of people who are privacy activists. So... You know, I think that that um, I, I trust um, Mozilla and the, and the Firefox people to be to be doing what they say they're doing. Um, clearly, if if they're setting you know do not track flags for websites to follow, you, you can't trust what what websites will do with with those flags. But in terms of Firefox itself recording data, I I genuinely don't believe they do because I think. So many people who are passionate about privacy read the Firefox open source code and actually build their own binaries from it um, and then compare them with the, the standard Firefox distribution that I think if they were recording that information, it would be found and whoever found it would make a real name for themselves amongst their peer group and therefore would publicize it very quickly. Uh, it's legal for you to, to give it up if you wish to do so. Uh, to give up your, your right to trial by jury, whether it's enforceable as a, 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 you, you having signed that, I very much doubt. But equally, I don't believe you would ever take that company to court um, because I don't think you could afford to do it. <laughs> uh, and that's the power that the big companies have. You can't actually sue them, even if their terms and conditions would be struck down by, for example, the, the Consumer Protection Act.